Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to download and use Screencastify to make a video using your Chromebook. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and type in Screencastify so you can download the extension Screencastify. Uh, it's not an app, like I said it's an extension. So when we go down here it says Screencastify Screen Video Recorder. Uh, when you click on it, it'll let you add it to Chrome. Now I've already added it because that's what I'm using to record this video right now. But um, when you do that, it's going to ask for a lot of permissions. Um, it's going to ask for permission to use your microphone, to use your webcam, to save things to your drive, to connect it to your Google account. I mean, it's going to ask you for a lot of permissions. And the reason why is because it does a lot for your Chromebook. Um, once you've agreed to all of these things and you've input in your actual Google um, account, uh, you'll have a little logo here that says Screencastify on this side of, I guess it'd be called like a toolbar or something. And um, when you click on it, it will give you the options to record stuff. Now, right now you can see that I'm recording, but um, it'll look something like this instead. So it'll give you the option to record a tab, which would be a single one of these on Google Chrome, to record your entire desktop or to record just using your webcam. So the one that we're going to be using is desktop because we want to be able to see everything on your screen at once. Um, again, the settings might look a little bit different, but we're going to want to choose desktop. When you click on start recording before it does anything else, it'll give you something that looks like this. And so any anything that's open on your desktop, any applications that you might have will all appear here. And so I don't think it says entire screen. I think it says internal display. But um, that would be, if it says in entire screen, internal display, that means that I will get to see everything on your screen. Okay, and so that's kind of what you'd want to use. Um, the nice thing is that let's say I wanted to like, you know, present something like this, a Google Slides document or something like that. Um, if I go to present, uh, might take a while, I guess, to load. Uh, but it will give me, I haven't done that in a while, it'll give me um, the ability to present my slides, to talk over them, to, you know, to click to the next slide, to talk about them. And by the way, this isn't actually one of my presentations, obviously, but it gives you the ability to talk over slides so that instead of actually presenting in class, you can just do kind of a digital version of that, okay? Um, whenever you want to stop doing something uh, or recording something, uh, you go to the little logo and you click on stop. If you want to pause to you know switch to a different person so that another person's talking or something, you can always hit pause, but you click on stop. And so once you do that, it'll give you something that looks like kind of like this. Um, actually, I wonder if I click on it. Actually, you know, I don't know if this will. I don't want it to. Hello, play. ladies and gentlemen. Oop, there we go. Uh, it'll give you something that looks like this. And so, you know, it'll say you're recording, save to disk, share, crop or trim, delete, all that stuff. So if you don't like it, you can delete it. Um, it should automatically upload to your Google Drive if you've put in your Google Drive account. Um, there's also a YouTube option if you want to actually post it to your YouTube channel or something like that. But the most important thing is that um, you now will have a little folder in your drive which says Screencastify if you save to your Google Drive. And that's where all of your recordings will go. Okay, And so this would be the file that you would be sharing with me. Uh, here's another really important thing. When you actually you know, hit the stop button on your logo here, um, it does not have a name. So you need to make sure that you include, if you're by yourself, last name, first name, period. Um, if for some reason you're in a group, I just need a group member's last name, first name, and period so that I know exactly who this is and what that recording is going to be about. Okay. And like I said, you can share directly from here if you want to. So you can just go to share and it'll ask you, you know, um, who do you want to share with or something. But I believe the easiest way to do that would just be to go to your Google Drive and then click on share and then enter in my email address. Okay. But uh, that's in general how you download Screencastify and use it to make a YouTube video. If you have any questions, then make sure you just ask.